this morning, we're going to talk a little bit about etiquette, table manners. Do anybody know what etiquette means? What do you think? Etiquette? Being respectful at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay. Like if you went to a fancy restaurant. That's a good answer. Yes, that is so true. Anybody else know what that means? You have an idea? Now, well, that's what we're going to talk a little bit about this morning. Today we're going to talk about what is good etiquette. What's the first thing you're going to do if you're having a party? What would you do? Help your family set up the table. Next thing you always want to do is the birthday party. What do you want? If you're having a party, what do you want people to bring you? Presents. Presents. Yes. Yes. So if someone invites you to the party, you always want to make sure you take a gift because it's always and it's not about the money. It's always about the thought behind it. So always keep that in mind. And then the next thing is when you do get to the party and you all in the you know gathering together and everything, and then you want to meet with the host because you want the host to be able to tell you where you're supposed to sit at, right? You don't want to just be able to sit anywhere. And sometimes they have little place cards for you guys so you can be able to sit, you know, at, right at your where your names are. You might sit next to your best friend or the birthday person or whoever. So that's a good thing to always keep in mind too know where the seat is. So if mom and dad's having a party, you might want to help them with the, with the place cards, you know, writing them out for them and telling people where they want to sit at. Or you might want to even show up that day and be a host and show them where they could sit at. So that's a good way to also help mom and dad. And then the last thing is, after the party's all over, you had all your fun and everything else, the good thing you want to do is to always send out a thank you card. So that's also part of etiquette. You always want to say thank you for inviting me, because guess what? You want to go again, right? Would you want to go again? Yeah? You want to always treat people the way you want to be treated, right? So part of having good etiquette is also talking to people and speaking to people the way you want them to speak to you, right? So we always want to just keep that in mind that if you're out in church or at school, you know, you want to be nice to people, you want to talk, you know, Make sure that they kind of understand that you, you know, you're basically a good student, and you want to, you know, just be happy and feel good. And feeling good is having good etiquette, right? Being able to good manners, right? So one of the other things that I wrote down, which I thought would be really good, just as a takeaway, is one of the things that Judge Clarence Thomas said: "Is good manners will open doors to the best that open doors that the best education cannot." Right? You know what that means? Does anyone have an idea what that would mean? No? What do you think? Maybe if you guys had some birthday, maybe you have really good manners. Maybe you have a two hours for good manners or something. Even though you were like really, really smart, you still got to feel that way and help you. Yes, that is, you know what, you hit the nail on the nose. That is so true. That is so true, because you always, you never know for one, like if you meet someone today and you're being really nice to them, they will remember you 10 years from now, right? And you want them to remember you because you were nice, right? So the next thing we're gonna kind of talk about is, basically we're gonna play a little game, okay? We're gonna play a game, and this game is how do we set up our table setting? And basically, we want to actually come back to the slide because I think that if we um, do the table setting, then we can kind of talk a little bit about like proper eating and stuff. So one of the things about going to a party, when you show up at the party and everyone's already there, right, and you walk in the door, lots of people are saying, you always want to walk what straight, right? Have a good posture. So one of the things that I did was I put 
books on the table, right? So today we're going to do just a little exercise about how to, how you can do this little exercise at home, but basically just keep it a good posture, right? So you're going to take the books. So we're going to have Miss Katina and her. Oh, okay. A four H volunteer. Okay, he's going to show you how to do it. good posture at home. You can do it with a group of friends, you can just do it in your room by yourself. So basically what, I, what I'm going to ask you guys to do is one by one, one person is going to stand up with the book on their head and walk around the table back to their seat. Once they get back to the seat, then the next person is going to stand up and walk around and back to their seat. You have to hold your hand up. You can walk slow or however you want to, but this is just basically so you can practice on your posture. When you walk into a party, you want people to know that, you're, that you have good posture, you want to look good. When you're looking good, you want to feel good, and part of that is making sure that you're walking straight. Good job. One of the things, the first thing you do when you sit down to the table, you unfold your napkin, right? And you place your napkin where? In your lap, right? And what do, why do you think you should place your napkin in your lap? Because you don't want no food to get on your clothes. Perfect answer. Yes, you don't want any food to get on your clothes. You use the napkin as a protector. The second thing is you always keep your elbows off the table. Right? You always have your hands. You can fold them or have them down or under the table, but it's always good to not have your elbows on the table. And I used to have a, uh, a mom who would just go by and put your elbow on the table. You would do this and she would go by and just kind of knock your elbow off the table. <laughs> so you don't want to do that, right? Okay, so the next thing is if you have a spill. So if you say, for instance, you're at a restaurant and you spill something, what do you think you should do? Clean it up. Should you clean it up? The waiter. Perfect answer. The waiter should clean it up. Never use your napkin to clean it up unless it well unless you unless it's a break well I'll take that back it's always best to call the hostess or either the waiter and have them to come clean the spill up but never try to use your own napkin to do so because if you use your napkin then you won't have anything to protect your clothes and then the, uh, another thing which we're going to refer back to the video is we try not to eat noisy right when you want to slurp when you're eating your soup and all of that good stuff and that's really the number one sin the number one sin of etiquette at the dinner table is you are not to slurp and make loud noise while you're eating your food that's a huge no no so the next thing is never to blow your nose at the table right who likes people when they're eating their food and someone's like blowing their nose all over the place right like so what should they do when they have to blow their nose what do you think go to the bathroom yes go to the bathroom excuse yourself you say excuse me you know you, can, you don't even have to tell them that's a that's another rule too never tell them that you're going to the bathroom right you just say can you excuse me or just say excuse me for a minute what about cell phones? Should we have should we be at our at the table playing with our cell phones while we're eating dinner? No. No? no. Raise your hand if you think you should be playing with your cell phone while you're having dinner. I do that. Who thinks that? Raise your hand if you think you should not be using your cell phone. 
So the knots have it. You should not use your cell phone at your dinner table. So this is, you know what, and I'm glad you said that, because this is where you said, Dad, you know what I learned today? You are not supposed to be using your cell phone at the table. That is not good etiquette. You can teach your parents, you know that? That's a, good, that's a teachable moment for you to teach your parents that we're not going to Sorry. Oh, well, that's something different. Normally, if, if and, that, and that happens, I'm glad you mentioned that too, because that's a good one. He said, he, what he said was, what if it's an emergency? That's a great question, right? If it is an emergency, let's say mom's having a baby, doctors call, we're on the way to go to the hospital. That's going to let you know, you know, he should say, like, you know, to his guests or whoever's at the table, you know, I, I'm, on, I'm on standby with the hospital, so please excuse me if I have to take a call during dinner. So that way, everyone, you know, he's pretty much got a pass at that point. You know what I mean? Because, you know, we don't want him to miss the emergency phone call, right? <laughs> so then... So the next thing is I would mention to you guys too is we just talked a little bit about um, being at the table, but once you finish eating dinner, like do you, I'm not, I know a lot of times at restaurants they have toothpicks on the table. Do you think it's good to grab a toothpick and start picking your teeth at the table? No. no. <laughs> Chew on them. What do you think? No. Would you? Yeah. No. No. So, so you should not use toothpicks at the table. You shouldn't be putting lip gloss for ladies in the air. No lip gloss at the table. If you want to do those things, just go to the bathroom. And these things are, I'm telling you this because you know the reason why. Because when you guys have good special events at school, when you guys have birthday parties and things like that, these are really good things to know. Because when you go to these parties and stuff, people want you to be on your best behavior. And it's really good for you guys to know these things. And I can tell you that when every summer, when I was growing up, I used to go to Philadelphia every summer with my aunt. And my aunt was a teacher, and everyone used to think that she was really, you know, the mean aunt. But she was really the aunt that everybody wanted to go to her house every summer because she, even though she stayed on us about manners and, and doing cleaning up behind us, though, but we always remember that. We always took those things with us out over the years. So I wouldn't trade those things for a million bucks. So I want to take what I've learned and make sure you guys can take that and go on to be successful. If it's at home, being successful. If it's at the restaurants where you go to, just being able to for people to know. And just like, see, right, what's, what's my friend's name right here? What's my friend's name? Jonathan. 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 See, I'm talking, see, just like what Jonathan was just doing with that. I mean, when we do dancing, when we at the dinner table, then we're supposed to be dancing, right? <laughs> Yeah, Donald, I see you, the, you're the entertainer, see. I would invite you to my party because I know you would be the dancer, so you definitely would get the party. <laughs> I'll be the devil. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is talk a little bit about eating, right? And then I'm going to, I don't want to take too much of you guys' time, but just wanted to talk a little bit about just the good tips that you can take back home and practice with your family, you know, and just be able to take, take on with you when you go to school next year. So basically another thing too is, do we talk with that mouthful? Yes. Should we be talking with that mouthful? Yes. No. no. Right? No. <laughs> and then another question I have for you is, so when we had a dinner party like, and, and we're talking, should, should like, you be the main person talking the whole entire time? Or should you like just talk a little bit and then everybody else will just join in? Like, what do you think? Is it a good etiquette to constantly be talking the entire time during the dinner party? No, man. No, right? <laughs> because if you're talking the entire time, sometimes you miss out on things. You really do. You miss, you know, they could be, you know, having a pre-prize going on at the front end of the table. And, you know, if you don't know what's going on, then how can you get to that pre-prize? So you always want to just make sure that you're following good etiquette no matter where you are. So another thing we're going to talk about is how to set up a table today, right? Setting up your table. And if you guys, you have, each of you guys had a, um, a couple of sheets of paper, a little presentation, and the very back of it, the very last page, is a formal table setting, right? The first thing that goes on the table would be, what do you think? 
The plate. Yes, the plate. Then what else would go on the table? What are some of the main things that you would think? Because some of the stuff is like extra stuff, but what are the main things that you think would go on the table? Um, a, wait, which one are you talking to, me or her? You can go, go ahead. Uh, four, a spoon, knives, uh, cups. Yes, and what do you think? Napkins. Napkins, yes. So we're gonna do an exercise. Basically, we had, we had, Plates, napkins, cups, forks, and spoons. I want you guys to, and I'm going to actually, we'll do by table. So we'll do this table, this table, and this table. So you can, guys can go up as a group. You go up to the table here. We have some place settings. And you're going to set up your seating, table seating for today, okay? So you're going to use this as the guide. And part of that I want you to do is, as you go, you can walk over past the table, the display table over there, which is an actual display of if you were home and really having a formal party helping mom out, she would use real china, right? Real, real knives and forks and stuff. So part of that is basically what we have it set up over there so you can kind of get an idea. Then what I want you to do is come back here and set up a table setting here where you guys want to eat lunch today, okay? And what I'm going to do is, it's, it's a, it's a, this is a game. So if you set it up right, you're, you're going to get something, okay? I'm not telling you. You're going to get something. So, but you have to set it up right, all right? So I'm going to give you guys about 15 minutes. So I'm going to go table by table. So you guys can go first. So you're going to go up here. Right, this is a soup bowl. So the soup bowl always go over top of the plate. But today we're just going to use we're just going to use a regular plate and a small plate instead of the big soup bowl, okay? So we have that and then we also have up top we have our, what we call our the bread plate. Plate, right? So basically the bread plate always go up to the left. Then to your right, you always think your drinks, right? Your right hand, you want to write your right drinks. So we always go with the water glass first. Water glass, right? Then we have our teaspoon, and then we have our tablespoon. Then beside that, we also have our teacup, right, and saucer. In front of that, we have our water glass, we have our wine glass. So normally, uh, a lot of times, uh, especially for adults, if they're drinking um, adult beverages, you want to have a couple of glasses for them as well. So I want you guys to just take a good look at this, right? We're not gonna have all of the stuff today, but we're playing pretend at this point, right? We're just playing the game. But we're playing to pretend because when we get home, we're gonna know what to do when mom and dad needs us to help them, right? And then we also have, you can guys will take this home too, so you'll have this as the guide when you are gonna do something like this, okay? So we wanna move this on this side, right? And that, perfect. Looks like you're ready for, for lunch. I am ready for lunch. You are ready. All right. I like that. You can say thank you 101 times and it's still not enough. So always remember that. Anytime someone, I mean, even if someone just hold the door or whatever, there's no harm in always saying thank you, okay? So always keep that in mind, all right? One of the things that's very important is listening, right? When someone's talking, right? When someone's talking, what should we be doing? What if I'm giving out a million dollars? Would you be able to, would you hear me when I said that I had the million dollars? Yes. Part of, part of, and part of that is the manners is basically being able to have good listening skills. That's a good part of having good manners. Because when someone else is talking, especially if you're talking, right, you want them to hear what you have to say. So we want to be polite, right? Have good manners at all times. Well, is it good for you guys to play with your food? What do you no. think? No. No? Yeah. Yeah. Part of showing up for the party is making sure that we are dressed properly and we're looking good. So now we got all the tips we need to go to this party, right? We have all the tips we need. We talked a little bit about posture, right? You know, so you show up at the party, you have good posture, you're walking in there. You're escorted into the event, so you're feeling good about yourself. You're saying hello, you're finding out where your seat is, right? 
So what's the next step after? What, I'm just going to talk a little bit about to see if you guys are really paying attention to what I was saying. So after you get to, get to the party, what do you do? What is the next tip? Do you know? What do you do when you get to the party? Who do you look for? Who do you look for? Right, that's called the host or the host, right? So you look for the person who's throwing the party, right? And then they, they, they're they going to tell you where you should sit at during the dinner party. Because the dinner party, you know, they're going to say, okay, you can sit where your table, uh, where your name is at the table, or you can just have a seat, right? So then after they tell us that, and then we sit down, what is the first thing we do when we sit down at the table? Good answer. Put our napkin on our lap, right? Who said no? Who didn't agree to that? I agree. You agree? <laughs> okay. And so one of the things also I just want to kind of touch a little bit about is basically when you get to the party, you know, before the party is even um, started, kind of you want to just the do's and don'ts, right? So when we go out, we want to make sure we dress properly. Part, part of that is also, especially as you get older, right? A lot of times as we grow in, you guys are teenagers. Most of you guys are almost hitting teenage stage, right? Mm -hmm. What stage? What's the oldest one, I think, is 13? 13. Yeah, so as we're getting older into teenage years, you know, we start to change and start to like different things when we wear dress code, right? So part of that is also knowing what and what not to dress, especially when you go out, you know, to a nice event, you want to look nice, right? So a couple of these things here, what do you guys think about this? Like, could you see yourself wearing something like this to the party, guys? No? Yes. No. Yes. No. He's ready for the party. No, he's not. No? Yes. Yes. No. No. Having the right attire is very really important. Because you don't want to show up to an event and they said it's an all white party and then you have one all red, right? So that's really important of knowing where you're going at. Knowing exactly what's expected for you to wear. Then the next one is what you're not to wear. Like, would you want to wear this to church? No. Right? Or sunshades, right? Yeah. Oh, the principal will be calling you in his office when he sees you walking with Z, right? Not that really. Not that no. Really. No. no. Oh, you got the whole principal there. My school cool got this. But in even something like this, would you wear this? Yes. Ladies, yes. would you wear this? No. from your closet and just squeeze on this. It will really help relieve a little stress. When there's a test in school, grab this and just squeeze a little bit, okay? All right? It's really good stress relief.